Hello viewers, this is Dr. Rana and today I am going to give a lecture on the multiple regulation. In this lecture, I am going to compare the two different uh, softwares. First is MATLAB and second is Excel uh, on which I am going to uh, explain that how you can uh, do the multiple regulation or linear or both uh, non-linear. You can use any as per your uh, requirement. So firstly I go to the uh, Excel and in which I have given any random data in which X is as an uh, independent variable and Y is your uh, dependent. So X is you can treat it as input and Y is your output of any experiment and now we are going to uh, fit this data with the help of MATLAB or uh, second one is the with the using Excel. So you, uh, I'm just going to compare both the software, and after that uh, we can decide that which one is uh, is a better to use for such type of analysis. Firstly, I go to the MATLAB since we have this uh, MATLAB series, and uh, yeah, now I should import or I can directly co copy and paste the values. This is for the X. You can input and second is for your y so you can directly copy and paste or even you can use the import command of this so i have the two x and y so x is your input and y is my output and if i going to uh, fit a polynomial like first is polyfit command is there x comma y and second uh, you can use the degree of the polynomial which you're going to fit if it's only a linear you can use it to one when you enter it and this will give you the first is give you the coefficient of x or this will give you the coefficient sorry the, the intercept so you can use this the solution is y is equal to uh, minus 0 0.6037 multiply by x plus 1.3380 per and, and actually this solution is uh, is from the polyfit command and if you wish to plot this so and uh, to see the error so what you have to do you can just go and uh, construct a new values of y uh, using this command this is by the poly value command and p is your function and x which you're going to check this is the new data from this if you're going to compare you can uh, plot this data x comma y this with this uh, dotted uh, values are this your actual experimental data but you're fitting the linear curve you can see that the data is very absurd and this linear fitting gives you the uh, is not a, is the best fit if you go on increasing uh, your parameters like your order of fitting so you can go for the new p1 you are going again for the best fitting so i'll go for the maximum i can go for the since the data is is i think the nine values i go for the eight or you can go for the seven the maximum seven or eight so this is your polyfit come on so this is uh, the huge data my right? now you can construct the new value of y1 so you can use the poly value p yeah this is your new variables and if I use again for the p1 and now you can construct this here you can see that this is the best fit polymer and you can go for up to 7 and if you wish to go to up to 8 then also you can construct the values so 8 is I think the maximum which you can take then similar things similarly you can find out the poly value and then the plot so i think this is the best fit it will because you know the data is nine and if you're using the eight uh, degree polynomial it will give you the best fit but excel it's uh, is sufficient for such type of uh, small analysis so what do you have to do in the excel you have to go this uh, data in which there is option is data analysis if this option is not shown to this then you have to go this excel options in the excel option there is the arrow in that and there is a analysis toolbox you just go on go 
and just check it if you just check it out it will gone you can see that yeah this is gone now so if you want this go to excel option go to Arin and go to this toolbox and go and just check it yeah it will back so now I, what I do I'll go for the this data analysis so in which there is a several options is available here I wish to do this a regression analysis go and click OK this is range for Y so range means you are have to put the Y input you can include this Y's text also and you even leave it I'm just going to include it and this also but if you include this X and Y you have to uh, click on this labels so it will assume this first two entries as a label you can keep constant as a zero even you can use constant variable and this is for the new sheet output the default if you wish to take a output on the same like here I wish to want the output I can click on it and this is another graphs which you want I don't want it I just go and plot it look you can see this is it will give you the linear fitting because I am using uh, automatically uh, it will going to find out the which values it will take a into x plus b so this analysis will give you value a and b so a is you can see that 1.337 and this so sorry a is minus 0 0.6033 and this and then if I compare with this uh, at lab in the linear initially I have used one here you can see that both are same obviously the analysis is the same so it should be the same so round off error is 3380 and you round off it's 37 yeah it's exactly the same so one extra things this Excel will give you the regression statuses in which you can see that it will give you the standard error it's 0 0.26 it should be close to 0 this error or just as asked it should be close to 1 to get a best fit so it's not a good fit so if you wish to in increase this so in the MATLAB you have the option polyfit so it will automatically adjust the number of uh, unknowns the degree of this but here in the excel what you have to do you have to if you want to increase this means you want to use a second degree polynomial like x of square 2 or b of star x and plus c so you have to insert one more like if i go for this i wish i don't want this so I go on deleting this yeah this I don't want so uh, this is the new column I have inserted x square so you know that in the excel scaring is easy just click on this scale and just enter and double click on the corner so this is automatically generated so now I am going to do the similar type of regression analysis with the same command so go for this you can see the regression click on this now you want this as your output yeah okay and for this you both consider both columns as your input and everything will be the same this is your output point and click on this now you see that your error is little bit reduced and this is go closest to the now its value is increased so as you go on and you can see that intercept x and coefficient this is the coefficients this is the standard error t stat p value everything will be given by the, this so extra you know, analysis of variations is also variance is also uh, been given by this so but the, it's a little bit cumbersome where you have to add the uh, uh, the coefficients add the uh, unknowns which you wish to calculate like if you want the degree of binomial to a 7 you have to include the 7 columns with the different of this and this is uh, the one thing from the uh, excel but you can do it with excel with other statistics also so which which will not given by this command polyfit and moreover this polyfit will not helpful if you go for two different variables like here if I go for the next sheet, you can see that if you have two different variables, it means 
two different input like x and y are the two different inputs and z are your output so if you use this polyfit command it will not helpful because it will give you only based on one variable like if you uh, because it's automatically adjust y equal to x plus x square x cube x and so on the variable is only one that is x so what you will do same analysis again with this 